Hi guys, my name is Liam Davey. Uh, I'm gonna be making a cocktail for this Friday's uh, Greenish Indoor Camping. Um, we are gonna be making a drink today called a Banana Bread Old Fashioned. Um, pretty straightforward. Um, I wanted to try and make a drink that uh, used stuff that most people either already had at home or could get hold of pretty easily. Um, so I'm just gonna first of all run through the equipment that you're gonna need, uh, and then we'll have a look at the ingredients. So first things first, um, nothing crazy in terms of equipment. There's no cocktail shakers, no kind of shaking or stirring or anything like that. It's a super, super simple drink. It just takes a little bit of time to prepare in advance. You're gonna need some scales. You're gonna need a mixing bowl and a sieve, a measuring jug or two and a whisk, um, and just a pan to melt some butter, which we'll come to in a second. Um, in terms of ingredients, obviously I'm sure everyone has made banana bread at some point during lockdown. I know I've made a, quite a few. Um, and if you've, if you've made a good one, you'll know that you need bananas that look a little bit like this, right? So super, super black. Um, I would definitely not be eating those raw under any circumstances because that's disgusting. Um, this is more my kind of vibe when it comes to that. But these are perfect for banana bread and also perfect for the, this cocktail. Super banana-y flavour um, and really, really ripe. You're gonna need a decent bottle of bourbon. Um, I personally love Woodford Reserve. Um, you can get this online, most decent uh, liquor stores will sell this, it's really good stuff. Um, but you can use Maker's Mark, you can even use a, a scotch if you like. Um, you're also gonna potentially need um, an extra bit of liquor. Um, I'm using some dark rum, this is like a really, really heavy uh, rum. Just use a little bit of this just to give it a bit more bite. If you haven't got this, you can use a smoky scotch or pretty much anything anything that's just got a little bit of oomph to it, even some grappa maybe. Um, someone, I'm sure everyone's got a bottle of that kicking around at the back of their cupboard somewhere. Uh, you're gonna need some honey, just regular squeezy honey. Um, if you've got nicer stuff, please feel free to use that. It'll make a difference. Um, just some regular salt as well. Um, and then I'll come on to things like the glass and the ice and all that at the end. So this drink requires a little bit of uh, preparation in advance. Um, we're gonna start off with the bananas. Just gonna cut off, the, cut off the skins and reveal that really squidgy sweet banana-y flesh underneath. Just get that out. We're gonna do two of those. And honestly, I really would recommend leaving these for as long as possible because they are right at their best now. You'll just get loads of flavor out of them. So I'm just gonna chop those up. And I'm gonna pop them into a jar. Any container will do. You can use Tupperware, um, anything, or jam jars, whatever you feel like. Just chop those two bananas in there. Wipe. And then what we're doing here is we're actually gonna make a uh, kind of batch um, a, sort of a few of these, so we're making enough for four drinks. I'm sure if there's just two of you, have a second, why not? Uh, and we're just gonna use 200 mils, two deciliters, as my Swedish flatmate calls it, uh, of bourbon. I'm just gonna pour that over the bananas. Just give that a little bit of a shake up. Now, ideally you'd leave this for maybe a day or two to infuse. We're gonna just use this straight today, but um, it will take on kind of the, all the sweetness of that banana um, and infuse with all that flavor. Um, so the next stage of this process is just melt some butter. Um, now, if you've checked out the recipes online, you'll see that there's two versions of this drink. I'm making the slightly harder version today. Um, and we are using um, butter, which we've basically taken to you can see, you can't really see that there. Brown butter, basically. Okay, so, um, so quite a chef-y ingredient that gets used a lot in restaurants. It's just butter that's been cooked till, just before it burns, and you should kind of get that really nice nutty flavor from it. Um, we're using 50 grams of butter to 200 mils of bourbon, and we're just gonna pour that straight into the bourbon and banana mixture. Okay. Again, just give that a good shake up. Now this might seem pretty weird at the moment. This is actually a technique that um, a lot of people use in bars called fat washing. Um, what it does is it just uh, ends up taking all of the flavor from the fat you're using, in this case the brown butter, um, but it'll actually leave the fat behind. So you won't end up with a super greasy drink. Um, next stage is just two 
strain that into some Tupperware. Beautiful banana -y mess. Just want to let it strain through. Don't push it all the way through. You don't want bits of banana pulp in there. You just want the kind of nice buttery bourbon to come through with it, which has taken on that flavor of the banana. All right, once that's strained through, just pop a lid on it and just whack it in the freezer. And normally that will freeze nicely up in a, in a couple of hours. And what you will get is, um, as you can kind of see with this one, you get a sort of layer of butter on top, layer of the fat, and all of the liquid is sort of fallen underneath. Now, if you take it out of the fridge and it freezer rather and it's completely frozen, just leave it out until you see the bottom layer has become a bit more liquid and then it's good to use. So we're just gonna take that off now. Okay, we'll see. There's a kind of buttery top to that. I'm just going to take our knife, just take the butter off, buttery layer off. That can go in the bin. Right, so that's one ingredient there. All right, so now we're going to assemble our drink. First of all, get our scales. Okay, and I haven't. <laughs> The recipe in front of me, uh, but I believe it was it was uh, 15 grams of honey for these drinks. So 15 grams of squeezy honey. Okay, isn't that honey? Obviously, is pretty sweet. Um, this has already got butter and banana and bourbon in it. You don't want to make this overly sweet. Um, just all those, those ingredients will kind of go be quite cloying if it's uh, if it's, you add too much honey. Um, next thing, really important, um, a good pinch of salt. Okay, salted, salted honey, if you've ever had it before, is like one of the best things in the world. Just put quite a bit in there. Um, you shouldn't really be afraid of using salt in cocktails, particularly with kind of things like bourbon. Salt works really well. And I'm just gonna dissolve that with 100 mils of warm water. This is not boiling water, just warm water. And it just allows you to dissolve the honey. Honey, quite hard to dissolve. So I'm just gonna go in there with a whisk until all of the honey and salt has dissolved. Okay, it shouldn't take very long. It smells amazing. Okay. Now the next part is just to sieve the bourbon and banana mixture into the honey and water. Okay. Just, you sometimes get a few little bits of butter in there, just trying to strain those out. So that's basically the drink all done now. Um, we're just gonna add a little splash, as I said, of our rum, just to make it a little bit more interesting. You can add as much as you want. I'm just gonna add 20 mils of the rum to the whole thing. Okay, and that's now done. Now, the reason we put water into it is to save you time and effort of stirring it in the glass or stirring it or in a cocktail shake or whatever. So this drink is essentially good, ready to go. Now at this point, you can do a few different things with it. Um, if you're going to be drinking it over ice, you could just pop it in a Tupperware and put it in the fridge. If you're going to be, uh, if you'd like to drink it warm, you can put it in a pan, just warm it up. Um, I normally add a little bit of water sometimes because a really warm booze really kind of gets quite heavy and quite full on. Um, and you can literally just decant it into a thermos flask and it'll keep nice and warm. Ditto, if you want to have it kind of just in a little, as a little shot after dinner or whatever, um, you can put it in the freezer for about an hour till it's nice and cold, and again, into a thermos flask, and you can pour it, you have lovely icy cold shots of delicious buttery, uh, banana -y bourbon. Um, so I'm just gonna pour it into the jug so we can finish off a drink. Um, I think a bartender, I've got some glassware ready in the freezer with ice. Any kind of rocks or old fashioned glass will do. I like to have like some big, big blocks of ice in my freezer just because I think it makes drinks taste a little bit nicer. Uh, but any ice, even ice from the corner shop, whatever you've got, is absolutely fine. Uh, and finally, just just uh, pour it out now. If you've got me if you've got measuring devices, um, you want each drink should be about seventy five milliliters. You've got, remember, you've got that water in there. We can make it nice and we can make a generous one hundred for this one. Okay. 
And then finally, I think this is really important, um, picking out a really nice garnish just to make the drink look a little bit special. Um, you can use whatever you want for this. So traditionally an old fashioned would be garnished with an orange uh, twist, which I think banana and orange is a bit of a weird combination. So we're not gonna, we're gonna stay clear of orange for this one. Um, I've done some little uh, caramelized banana slices here. So just kind of sliced a banana, uh, put some sugar on it, cast sugar, and put it under the grill. So I'm gonna pop one of those just on top of the ice there. Um, and then if any of you have been outside for your daily walk, you'll notice there's loads of stuff in blossom at the moment. Uh, so we just picked out a couple of nice little flowers. Always looks pretty, makes it look really, uh, really nice. And also obviously great for the gram. Um, so there we have it, the brown butter uh, and banana, banana bread old fashioned. Thank you very much.